Well, we're here at Kraft today, and today it's all about Super Bowl, getting ready for the big game. And Eric even said I wasn't very Canadian because I'm wearing a Denver Broncos <laughs> jacket here. But uh, we're going to make some good food because you guys are expecting a lot of people down for Super Bowl. Tell us a little bit about what you're offering. All right, so Super Bowl Sunday, what we're offering, we have uh, an all-American beer flight, first of all. And then we're trying to go with a little bit uh, all-American style food. So we're doing grilled ribs, roasted chicken, mac and cheese, nothing more American than that, 21 bucks. Wow. And uh, we're, we're presenting the game all day. Um, and yeah, it's going to be My a lot of fun. My pants are getting tighter just thinking about how heavy <laughs> that food is. But we're going to make some of it right now. Yeah. Eric, what are we going to do first? Uh, what we're going to do first, we're going to start off with a mac and cheese. Okay. So this is our version, our uh, craft version of mac and cheese. Okay. Um, we start off with uh, our own little sofrito of roasted bacon and poblano peppers. Mm. Just gonna get For those that going who don't a know, bit. what kind of peppers are those? What a poblano they add? pepper, it's uh, mildly spicy. Okay. Not as hot as a jalapeno, not as mild as a green pepper. So okay. it's somewhere in, somewhere in the middle. Okay, perfect. Uh, a little bit of bacon as well. So that's already kind of slightly roasted, so this is gonna go a little bit quicker for us. Okay. Next up, we're gonna throw in some of our cheese mix. So our cheese mix, this dish has tons of cheese. Okay. We have cheddar cheese, uh, gouda, fontina, a uh, little bit of cream in there, and uh, some Parmesan as well. Wow. So we're just going to get that in there. It's a good thing calories don't count on Super Bowl Sunday, <laughs> right, Eric? Not with the beer, not with the ribs, <laughs> not with this. Okay. That's for sure. Oh, that smells so good already. So we're definitely just going to get that going a little bit. Okay. Just season it up. And we have, uh, we don't actually use macaroni because that's a little 12-year-old uh, style. So right. we're going to okay. use some cavatappi. Cavatappi. We're just going to bring that up a little bit. With the cavatappi, the there's even more nooks and crannies oh, for you that bet. cheese to get stuck you in, bet. isn't there? Okay. So just going to warm this up a little bit here. Okay. So not a football fan, just a hockey fan. I'm a big sure. hockey fan, but uh, you know what? I'll watch it if I uh, if I have to. Okay. I'll watch football if I have to. <laughs> this Sunday, I'll probably be watching the game. Why and not? you'll probably cheer for Seattle just so you can cheer against me. <laughs> just so right? I can cheer against you. You bet. <laughs> So we get that going a little bit. And we're gonna add a little bit more gouda. Okay. Why not just make it cheesier, right? Why not? You can't have too, too much cheese. <laughs> so we get that nice and cheesy. Okay. That looks amazing. Now, uh, how many people are supposed to eat this? Is this for like This is four one people? person. This is one just one. Person? One wow. person to chow down. That smells amazing. Oh my goodness. That's okay, awesome. well, I'm going to try a little bit of this after. What do we have when we come back to the kitchen? We're going to do some ribs. We're going to do some ribs. We're going to plate it up, and uh, we're going to have a lot, of, a lot of fun. That sounds amazing. We'll be back from our Calgary from here at Craft with Chef Eric Ma right after this. Yummer.